Hi everyone, we're here with Ian Webb and Concord Counseling, part of it, and I'm here to interview about your favorite piece here. So, what inspired you to make your favorite piece? Uh, it's going to be this one. This is the newest. This is uh, a musician, Frank Zappa, and he is a rock and roll, um, I guess, celebrity or icon, but he he also wrote classical music, he wrote uh, blues, jazz, just a ton of stuff. And this is from a book, and it's an autobiography that's about his life. Awesome. So, what do you think stands out about this piece? Um, I think it's his mustache, because it took hours to do those little hairs of really his mustache. Thank you. And I don't, you know, I don't trace, so when I make a piece, I, I do it all with my eyes and my hand. And I do make mistakes, too. Um, so how long did it take to get this sucker's piece? First, it was just this, and I think his, his portrait took about three weeks. And then underneath here, these are pictures or cartoons that are about his life that are in the book that I read. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Spencer. Well, thank you for your interview today. <laughs> That's cool. I see you again. All right. Hi everyone, Spencer here, West Coast Central High School. I'm here at part of Concord Art Event with. I'm not here. I'm going to ask her a few questions about her art. So, what's your favorite piece of art here? My favorite piece of art is. Here. It's a crochet. You can wear it as a choker. <laughs> or you can wear it as a full length necklace. So what's your inspiration behind this piece of art? My art inspiration is from my mother. My mother was very creative. She taught us all how to make any and everything. So we can sew, we can cook, we can we build a house. <laughs> So what do you think stands out about that piece of art? I think it's very comfortable because it's lightweight. And you can wear it, you can pull it where it will become longer. Where you can wear it as a full necklace. Where you can make it shorter. All right. How long did that take to make? About two hours. All right. So we're here at the final sit-down interview today with Linda Jakes. Um, we just wrapped up the Heart of Concord Art event. Um, I just want to know your final opinions on it. Like, what do you think this means to people? Uh, this not only fills my heart, but I think it fills the hearts of everybody that's part of this. Whether you're an artist or you're just coming and, and looking at what people are able to do, I think that this is probably one of the more exceptional events that you could ever be a part of.
Yeah. Um, as we walk around the Lift Art today, um, all the magnificent pieces that people put together, the time and effort, um, the past stories that they had, it really expresses how much uh, people devote their time and just being able to display to people really, they really, really get joy out of it. Um, I heard you've been hosting this for 10 years and mm -hmm. how, how big has it gotten since then? Oh my God, it went from 7 people to 50 this year. I mean, it's giant. But, you know, and it's kind of, the part that I think is the most important to me, we're a community mental health center. These are people that have what quote unquote diagnosis, what that means. All of us are walking with something. Sure. But with that, there's a, a certain identification that they have from that. And this is a way to call themselves something. Instead of I'm a person with anxiety or I'm a person with schizophrenia, I'm an artist. Yeah. And that shift, you can see a difference in how people behave, how they look at you. I've seen people go from hair on their face to hair back and talking. It's magnificent. Well, that was a wrap up with Linda Jakes from the Heart of Concord Art Events. The 10th year that they've done it, and it's gotten bigger and bigger every year. And I'm glad you were participating in it this year as well. He's a huge <laughs> help. <laughs> Well, thank you for everything this year. You got it, my friend. Yeah, let's wrap it up.